Howdy tubers, welcome back to the Zach Life. This will be episode something, I don't know what the number is. It'll be the painting and the taping off of the graphics and the painting of the graphics. Uh, the timeline of this video, of course you won't know it, but I actually haven't started the uh, the previous video, which will be the, uh, the, the gray water tank fiberglass deal. And I can't I can't start the graphics on the other side until I get that done because the tank's going to go through the door hole in the side of the coach, but not through the door once the door frame's in. But I'm going to take these graphics off and paint them on at least two, at least one side at a time, maybe the side, the front, and the, and the other side. But first off, the first side I want to do, this is the, the driver's side. It'll be the side that you don't see as often. I want to do it first, so if I have any problems, I'll be able to correct them on the other side. Um, anyway, I'm just going to get into this, time lapse you, here we go. No time lapse yet. So, here's my game plan. I got some numbers over there and I've forgotten what they are, but I'm going to measure up and put the top and bottom lines of the graphics are going to be, you know, here and here. So, you got to have the graphics straight, and the best way to do that is to take a piece of masking tape and stretch them from the front, however far you're going, and use that as a line. So what I'm going to do is, say my line's going to be down here, but say my line's up here, I'm going to run a piece of masking tape under here, use it only as a guide. When I've got the actual paint tape on, I'm going to pull the guide piece off. The reason for that is, is these panels have these lips, and I'm, I'm going to have to sort of spray when I paint this, like in this direction, so that you don't have a black line on the inside of these seams, as you can see. And I've got to get my tape good and wrapped around this edge, or I'll get under spray, or over spray, I'll get over spray under the tape, under spray, I just made that up. And uh, anyway, so I'm going to sort of tape each of these panels every four foot somewhat independently. And so by doing that, I want to make sure that I've got a upper and lower marker piece of tape to line up the, the actual tape that will divide the line. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is use this as a, as a marker, and I'm going to use, I'm going to run this tape, same tape, right on top of it, right perfectly on top. But I'm not going to pull it tight. And by not pulling it tight, I'll be able to make this little jog. And I don't know if you can see, but each of these panels overlaps, and so there's a little bit of a crease here. This tape is, is suspended right here because it's pulled tight and I need to be able to not pull the tape tight and get it packed in right there so that I don't get under spray as I said behind the tape. At this point here I'll simply remove uh, this lower piece of tape, the first one I put on. I'm going to go lay out the rest of these as far as the outer, outermost line and then I'll show you a picture. So I've cut these circles out. There's another one down here you can't see it. I cut these circles out, uh, made, drew it on a CAD program, printed it and cut them out. And I'm going to try to lay these up here to use them as a radius. I've got this tape that's supposed to make the radius as easy to do or whatever. Ow! It's freaking cut. Run that razor blade through my thumb. <laughs> Let me go wrap my finger up and I'll be back. 
All right, all better. So I think this looks pretty good. I guess I'll pull it off. All right, there it is. Hopefully it'll look good. Move my little deal down there. I'm gonna do the uh, do the next one. I'm not sure if that was the easiest way to do that or not, but it's what I did. <laughs> Surely this is... Did y'all see what I'm doing here? <laughs> Surely this is OSHA approved. Well, got all the masking done. <laughs> fixing to uh, fixing to spray some white. All right, it's all masked off. I have scuffed it with uh, Scotch Brite. Got got a good scuff on all of it. I think this paint has actually got an open recoat time, so that's not required but uh, some mechanical adhesion of the paint is always better uh, it's been wiped down I'm fixing to suit up and I got a tack rag open right there I'm gonna tack rag it and then I'm gonna try to run the camera while I paint this uh, you can't quite I can't get a shot of all of it at the same time I'm gonna start at the front and then and then work my way back so I'll just cut in in a minute, kind of in the middle of painting when I get in the middle of the uh, middle of the screen. Let's do it. All right, this is the next day. So last night is is when I sprayed this and I put a, it had a few runs in it. It didn't come out very good. This morning I sanded those runs down and then repainted it four coats. And uh it's not perfect, but it's uh it's not bad. It'll definitely work for a couple of extra wide pin stripes. Okay, so it's been 36, 38 hours, whatever. This is dry. The next step is to run my half inch wide tape to make my, my white lines. They'll separate the colors. And so I'll have four. There'll be one at this top seam, one at the bottom, and, and then two in the middle for three spaces. So 
this is going to be painstaking and slow and a pain, but I'm going to have to run this green tape right up next to, to this line. And it's got to be just perfect because if it's just the least bit higher low, the line is not going to be even. Okay, so what I've started doing here, this works pretty well. I'll push my tape line. So I've got to get tape behind this crack, this seam, or I'll have overspray up and under this, this uh, piece of green tape. So I'm taking and pushing this tape up here, close as so I can get it, taking a razor blade, and cutting it just like that. Take this small lip, and roll it under, you can mash it in, and so that I've got tape behind the, the panel. Work this right in behind <clears throat> now this whole area will be sprayed eventually blue. And I don't know if you can see, but there's some places there's a small crack between this, you know, you can see this, this line, and then there's another tape line here. There's a small area, the thickness of my fingernail, that should end up white, but it, we might get overspray, so it might have a small little super fine blue line. So what I'm gonna do is take another run of yellow tape and tape this seam. Now I'll have to use this yellow tape on the top and bottom but the center ones will be just the width of this green tape. Should be close, you know, the, the line may be slightly wider in some places than others, but it's gonna be really close. Hopefully, uh, close enough you won't be able to see it. So, let me get this done. I gotta go all the way down the side, up, around the top, and then we'll uh, catch you back when do the center ones. One of the problems you'll have with this tape is you can't really pull on it. You can't stretch it because it's designed to be stretchy. And when you stretch it, it actually shrinks. It'll shrink in width very easily. I don't know if I'll be able to just demonstrate this, but <clears throat> if you stretch it, it just, of course it broke, but Anyway, if you stretch it, it shrinks, the width of it shrinks. So you can't run it down a you know, car and pull it tight. So I got this, this is the end of the bottom one. I've got to run it up and over. This is taking forever and is extremely painstaking. All right, here's the plan stand. I've got a, uh, a paint stick that I have marked. I'm using this like a ruler. I guess I've had a ruler to be easier. Uh, you probably can't read it, but hey, it's a six inch marks. This is six inch marks and a seven inch mark. And so, if I lay this ruler perpendicular, up against the uh, seams in my plate, run it up to the bottom of my tape line, and mark my six inch mark right there, flip it over to the same thing, that'll be the top and bottom of my 
center stripes. And I'm going to run the top stripe first and then peel this halfway off and go over it. And, uh, and then go on down. And I've got a 7 inch mark here and just to make sure everything is perfect. Uh, it should be 7 inches because it's 6 inch wide uh, stripe plus half inch plus half inch is 7 inches. And then it'll do like a, a check or whatever. Anyway, I'm going to do these on down. Okay, I got this ready for the second, or the first color, I guess. Whatever. You can see up there, there's there's two of the strips are covered up by the by the blue low tack masking tape. I did that so that I wouldn't have several different layers of colors, and I was afraid when I pull the uh, pull the tape on the white lines, you'll be able to see a a light blue or a dark blue small thin line where it had two different colors over you know the white where you pull it there so it, that's a low stick tape so it won't pull my other tape off hopefully when I when I shoot it um, I have taken I'm not sure how good this is gonna work I, I sanded this pretty good with 400 uh, it had some dry spots. I mean, it looked pretty good. It wasn't perfect. I put this barrier up here. I'm going to try to keep all my paint down here. I'm not sure how good this will work. If I get a little bit of overspray up here, it won't matter. And I'm going to have to sand this anyway a little bit. And hopefully, I can knock it off real easy. And that way, I won't have this dark color purple under the light blue which would be harder to cover especially if it's not real smooth or if it's got dry spots or whatever I'm not sure if this will work but we're going to try it worst case scenarios I just have to sand on this for a while to sand the purple overspray off I uh, kind of did the same thing back at the back you can't really see it doesn't matter I'm going to put my camera up because the uh, it is now sort of white speckled <laughs> I'm not going to video it I'm going to shoot this. I've been up since 5 o'clock this morning, and uh, my day's over. I'm going to get some paint on this, and I'm done. All right, got the dark purple sprayed or blue or whatever it is. Uh, taped it off, and then taped the uh, one above it that'll be the medium blue, and fixing to uh, fix and spray the light blue. <clears throat> that is a blue. <laughs> I hope it darkens up a little bit. All right, so I got the second colors taped off, and I'm prepping for the or the third color, whatever. I'm prepping for the last color. Uh, this is supposed to have an open recoat window, but I want to sand it anyway. 
I'm just taking some 320, which is probably a little bit coarser than I need to be. Probably need to be 400. But I'm being very light handed using this little buzz box. <clears throat> like I was saying, the uh, when you sand it, it, it gives it scratches to mechanically adhere the paint, so you get a lot better adhesion. But also, uh, this is four coats of white. White didn't cover very well, and you get that much paint built up. Four coats plus probably three or maybe four, depending on how good the the uh, medium blue covers. You know, that's seven or eight coats, and you get that much paint of single stage. You can't really cut and buff I mean I guess you can but I'm not buffing this whole thing that's not an option so uh, you know you get that many coats of single stage you end up with pretty bad orange peel even if you do a good job painting it or at least I will and uh, anyway so this four coats you run this over there and you knock the you know the high spots off that orange peel and so that the uh, the color you put on will come out better. So I'm going to finish this. I got the uh, part that goes up in the back to sand. And then I'm going to shoot the paint on it tonight. And tomorrow we'll get to pull the tape. Catch y'all tomorrow. Okay, so I did a little bit of a scientific laugh uh, thing here. So this is a piece of black that uh, actually this side that was... Uh, come out of one of the doors I cut out fully cured 14 days it has got a significant amount of white overspray it was not dusted nor cleaned and then it's got one really heavy coat of blue the blues dried three days and I've been it as tight as you could possibly bend this uh, there is no come on buddy you can do it there is uh, absolutely no cracking. And you can see how tight that radius is. It's a quarter inch diameter, eighth inch radius. And I took a razor blade and tried to separate these paint layers. And this is chemical adhesion only. A, a 14 day cured black paint with, with white overspray and then a heavy coat of blue on top. And I could see absolutely no um, tin for separation uh, between the blue and the black. I think they are well adhered. Anyway, I was talking to a buddy and we weren't sure if the if the actual chemical adhesion would be super strong or if it actually did need sanded. Nason says this has an open recoat window and I absolutely believe it. Alright tubers, this is the moment of the truth. The uh, the the blue that you can see there is not quite cured it's got about six hours on it it's not tacky but it's definitely soft i'm gonna have to be careful fix and pull tape see what it looks like let's do it I thought this would all come off together, but apparently it's going to be one piece at a time. This is taking forever.
Okay, well it's uh, not all the tapes off there, but most of it is. Uh, it's looking pretty good to me. It's you can see there's there's a bunch of sort of jagged edges that look like this, but I think that's the sort of the paint that's like has pulled off the top of the tape. I think after you sort of run your fingernail down it or buff it, that it will. Uh, we'll see. That's actually got a piece of tape left. You know, it'll it'll smooth out. It looks pretty good. There's I see one one screw up up there. Uh, the tape pulled that blue off. I may have to shoot it, and there's a a little white's running down. There's a uh, a little overspray right here. I'm hoping I'll be able to take maybe after this dries some lacquer thinner and maybe wipe it off. If not, I, I think that I can probably take some sandpaper and sort of sand that and uh, and buff it. This this color is sort of not. I think if you hit that with some 2000 grit right there in the corner, you might not be even able to tell that you did. It's sort of got stuff similar to that. I think a lot of this stuff will sort of, you know, sort of wipe off. There's a little, a little chunks gone. I think I'll probably give me some paint pens and I can go around and touch up that little bit like that. And I'll, I'll probably tape that off up there and, uh, and spray it, but it's up against that corner, so I'll have to have one hard tape line. And uh, I don't know, that stuff up there looks decent. You can see the the jagged edge, like that runs down to the edge of the paint. I think if you run your thumbnail down it, that'll clean up. It uh, it doesn't look terrible. A little extra chunk of black will come off there. There's another place of white ran down. I ran this white real bad when I painted it, and I think that's probably one of the deals with it but uh, the paint looks pretty good it can't, it's not as reflective there but <laughs> I just hope it uh, lines up with the truck well tovers I guess that's a wrap uh, I realize this is a long video appreciate you watching it uh, please give it a thumbs up share subscribe whatever obviously the next step is to do the other side but uh, it's not actually the next step we'll build a build a fiberglass holding tank it'll be next and then i got to take the door and reskin the door repaint it get it ready to go and i've got to put the tank inside through the doorway before i can put the door on it and i got to get the door on it before i can put the color on the other side i want to remask off this whole side obviously but i'm gonna do it all in one piece and I thought I'd probably do that so I could get the tape off there as soon as possible. And uh, and so that if I had any problems, like particularly that little blue square up there, I'll be able just to cut a little square out of my big sheet of plastic, tape around it, and, and, and respray that little spot. That's actually the only one I saw that is going to need resprayed. I was afraid I probably would run paint down in several places or whatever. But... Uh, there was only just a couple little spots. I think I'll just get some paint pens. I think I can order paint pens specifically made to match the paint recipes that, that we came up with. But anyway, appreciate it. We'll catch you next week. Or it won't be next week because this is going to be a little bit wild. But uh, we'll catch you next time.